Steam is without a doubt the most popular game client around. While Steam could and should run significantly better on Apple Silicon, it's still a super convenient central location to keep all of your games, with an incredible game store with year-round discounts. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 pro tips for Steam on Mac. I find that Steam often doesn't run as fast as I'd like it to. So, I like to make sure that all the settings that can speed up the application are checked on. So I'm going to go to Steam, Preferences, Library, and I just want to make sure that Low Bandwidth Mode is on, which reduces bandwidth use by disabling features like Auto Load of Community Content, and Low Performance Mode is on, which improves library performance by disabling certain graphical improvements and transitions. Doing this will improve battery life as well. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit OK. By default, Steam will automatically log on when you turn on your Mac. To turn this off, go to Steam, Preferences, Interface, and then make sure Run Steam When My Computer Starts is not checked. Then hit OK. If you want a less obtrusive, more compact Steam that just shows your library, open Steam, go to Window, and hit Small Mode. I want to play a game from 2006 called Prey, but it's no longer available on the Steam store or any online store for that matter. That's where third-party Steam key retailers come in. Because these websites can kind of be a little bit sketchy, my rule of thumb is I only use them to get games that otherwise I couldn't get anywhere else. If I go to my Steam store and search Prey, you can see that the game I'm looking for doesn't show up. This is the Prey that came out recently, not the one from 2006. If I go to Google and search, Prey 2006 buy. There are no options to buy the game for PC, except for from third-party retailers. This is exactly what I need. Once purchased, go to your Steam app, go to Games, and hit Activate a Product on Steam. Copy and paste your Steam code, hit Next, and simply let Steam download the game to your computer. The Steam user interface is pretty basic and isn't often changed, so it's good to know that you can personalize the skin of your Steam client to pretty much whatever you want. I personally use the Steam skin called Metro, but there are thousands of other awesome skins that, that you can apply to your Steam app. You can easily go to Google, search best skins for Steam, and there are plenty of articles, so let's check out this PC Gamer one. They've got Metro. Here's one called Air that looks interesting. Steamskins.org is a great website to download tons of different skins for Steam. This one's called Airskin. Once the zip file is downloaded, I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to my User, Library, Application Support. I'm going to find Steam. Then I'm going to go to Steam.app.bundle, Mac OS. And then I'm going to look and see if there's a folder called Skins. If there's not, you're going to right click, hit New Folder, and make a folder called Skins with no capital letters. Once you have access to the Skins folder, you're going to drag and drop your Skins into it. Next, open Steam, Preferences, Interface, and then under Select the Skin you wish Steam to use, find the skin that you want and select it. Then hit OK and restart Steam. And now the air skin is applied, but you know, I think I kind of like my Metro better. So I'm going to go to Steam, Preferences, Interface, and under Skins, I'm going to choose Metro. To turn on an FPS counter for Steam, I'm going to go to Preferences, In-Game, and then I'm going to go to In-Game FPS Counter, go to the drop-down menu, and I'm going to choose Top Left. I'm going to choose High Contrast Color to make it easier to see, and then hit OK. Let's launch Batman Arkham City, and you can see automatically in the top left in bright green, I have an FPS counter, which is very helpful for testing graphic settings and how games run. We're going to go to Friends, View Friends List, then hit the gear icon. Under Friends List, make sure Sign into Friends when Steam Client starts is off. to download and play games from your Steam library while you aren't online. To do this, you need access to your friend's computer. Once you have it, open Steam and log into your account. 
not your friend's account. Once logged in, go to Steam, Settings, Family, and then make sure authorized library sharing on this computer is checked. To organize and specify what shows up in your Steam library, go to the top of your library and you can see there's a drop down here where you can choose to show games, tools, and to group by collection. I just leave that on games. You can click this Apple icon to just show games for Mac. And then you can also choose to just show games that are already installed on your Mac. Steam is really good about giving refunds for games. While it's not good practice to continuously buy games and return them, it is good to know that if you have a game that you haven't played for more than two hours, and it's prior to 14 days since you bought the game, Steam will pretty much refund anything. I didn't know there was going to be so many bugs and bug snacks, so I'm going to try to return it. I'm going to find the game I want to return in my library, select it, then hit support. Under what problem are you having with this product, choose the one that applies to you, and then you can either contact game support or hit I'd like to request a refund. Choose your refund method and hit submit request. You should get an email regarding your refund within a couple days.